Welcome to the Number Minds YouTube channel and our first ever YouTube video. What we're going to do today is show people how to use the weekday function and use a VLOOKUP to turn a number into a weekday name. So if we start off by giving ourselves a few dates. So let's go from the 1st to the 20th. And then within Excel there's an embedded function so you don't need to create anything. Which will give us, as you can see there, weekday and you select, pass it a date and it'll turn it into a number. So for example the 1st of June is a 7. Now the 7 corresponds to a Saturday because the calendar that it looks at gives Sunday a value of 1 and then all the way through to Saturday as a value of 7. Now what we're going to do is fill this down so if you find this uh, black square in the corner and double click on it when you see the plus sign it'll fill down to the last row you actually see. So if we just extend that down a bit more there we go. So now what we'll do is we'll create a an array or a, um, a range of data that we can actually look at and create a VLOOKUP. So if we do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1 being a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now all we need to do is do the dreaded VLOOKUP. So if I just type it in VLOOKUP putting the bracket in we get the help file so what value do we want to look up so that's the value we've been given press a comma move to the, the array that's the array we want to look at and the column index number which value do you actually want to return do you want to return the one two three four five six seven again which is pretty pointless or do you want to see Sunday Saturday now that's in the second column so we press two and we want an exact match so we type in false that gives us a Saturday so now if we go down here and then fill down we're going to get a problem because if you look here you see B2 and you look at the range there but if we were to click down here what we would see is the range is actually moved now we don't want that we wanted to always look at those particular cells I'm highlighting now so all we do is what we do is we create op um, absolutes so if we were to press F4 this is going to also known as dollaring and then refill down we get information here that is actually means something rather than someone having to remember in their mind that three is a Tuesday and hopefully this will uh, help people build dashboards that are a bit more effective thank you very much for listening